Well, right now, some of you might be getting ready to hit the road on the way to a fireworks show or another 4th of July destination. And if you don't have a Tesla or an electric vehicle, you'll probably have to get gas, right, to get you there. 11 Alive's Karis Belger is live in Midtown. But what we need to know about stretching that dollar, Karis, we want to get every last drop of gas that we can get. Well, I was actually speaking with drivers who were filling up before they hit the road this morning. They say gas can always be cheaper, but travel experts are saying that Georgia drivers are actually paying more this Independence Day than they have last year. It's going down, honestly, a little bit. It was higher than that. Even as the numbers climbed, drivers at this Buckhead gas station say they were not feeling as much pain at the pump compared to recent fill ups. 340, that's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, of course, it's usually always going to be higher this time, but I do think it is a little bit lower than it usually is. Triple A says over the past month, gas prices have been falling, but the average price per gallon in Georgia is up about 12 cents compared to 4th of July weekend a year ago. Economist and Emory professor Tom Smith says more people are changing their travel plans, which is why nationally and here in Georgia, the prices have dropped over the last month. Everything that I've read suggests that the changing weather patterns are changing people's plans for road trips, vacations, time of year and vacations. And so I suspect that the lower gas prices are a result of changes in demand. But for those who are planning to hit the road, prices may vary. And Smith says to try and plan your pit stops. There are a number of apps that tell you where the gas prices are cheapest in your area, and you can utilize those apps to try to get the best deals. And he says weekdays are the best time for big deals. When you're traveling, you can look at how prices shift between weekdays and weekends, day versus night, and make lots of accommodations using those, that information. Now, Smith says gas prices should spike closer to the fall. That's because, based on his research, people who may change their travel plans will want to take a trip once the weather is more mild. Back to you.